Hello everyone, my name is Asisi Pombingedeli and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video guys, we are going to be answering this exam question from a previous um, life sciences exam question paper. 3.5. The diagram below shows a transverse section through two different blood vessels. Obviously, this is part of the circulatory system um, or the transport system in animals. I think that's why we call it in grade 10. Um, please remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel, guys. If you haven't already, it is free. It's more like following someone on Instagram or TikTok. Please comment down below. Um, indicate specific topics that you want me to cover or specific question papers that you would like me to go through. Excuse me. I will gladly record um, and post the video for you. Please also share the link. Um, of this video with your friends your schoolmates or classmates because you came across this video for a reason you're probably preparing for a test or an exam please share the link with them so that they can also be prepared all right so let's look at the questions uh the diagrams are straightforward hey um because this is also covered in grade nine so let's see we are having two different blood vessels um there's this one a and b and three labels here one two and three um okay let, let me let, let's just go through the questions okay very easy to identify who's who in the zoo here but yeah which diagram represents the artery and which one represents the vein so is the artery represented by a or b it is definitely a so it's diagram a not because A for artery, uh -uh. it's not because of that. And then diagram B is represented by the vein. Um, I assume they're definitely going to ask us to provide reasons for this. Let's look at the second question. Explain your answer. Why are you saying diagram A is the artery and diagram B is the vein? There's two giveaways here. Um, the lumen. So this is the space where blood will pass through. This is the lumen here. This is the lumen and this is the lumen, right? So the lumen for um, the diameter of the lumen, I think that's how you need to phrase, phrase it, for the artery is obviously very small uh, or it's smaller compared to the diameter of the lumen and the vein. And blood flows at a very high pressure in the artery due to obviously a smaller diameter compared to blood flowing through a vein. Um, another one, we can look at the muscular wall, right? Um, the muscular wall is thicker in an artery. So this will be the muscular wall that we're speaking about. So it will be thicker in an artery in obviously to obviously support or withstand the pressure of the blood that is flowing through compared to um, the blood that is flowing through in a vein. All right, so those two are giveaways. Uh, let me write the answer here for how many? Two marks. Okay. Um, but our, okay, let's follow the instruction. Explain your answer to question 3.5.1a. So we are explaining why we are saying diagram A is the artery. We are not necessarily comparing between the two. Yes, you can compare for your understanding, but for how we need to answer, we are just explaining for the artery. So the artery has, it has a thick muscular wall to withstand um, the pressure to withstand the pressure that is exerted by the pumping action of the heart remember the artery will carry blood away from the the heart so that is oxygenated blood that is transported in the artery um you speak about the lumen also the lumen is smaller in diameter to facilitate to facilitate faster uh, movement 
movement or to create higher pressure right okay um so you didn't have to answer uh for both the muscular and the lumen so you could have just mentioned this one and you get your two marks let me show you how that will be marked so you speak about a thick muscular wall then you speak about the pressure so you still get your two marks other learners could have spoken about the lumen being small in size to obviously create a higher pressure okay you didn't have to mention both i'm mentioning both because um those are the two possible options okay which blood vessel a or b has valves definitely b so that will be diagram b the vein provide the label for the parts numbered three two and one uh let's look at them so three two let's see three two and one okay so three uh we've identified it that's the lumen then uh two that's the muscle layer uh, and one it's connective tissue um in other labels uh you can speak about the outer layer um yeah i know in other tissue in other textbooks it will say connective tissues in other textbooks it will say a different word so please just write down the word or terminology that you are taught in class okay i think that's it thank you all the best for your test and exams